The vast and dry gypsum landscape in what is now New Mexico was once a giant lake. Archaeologists began digging through the layers of sediment laid down over tens of thousands of years. And then, clear as day, they came upon this, fossilized human footprints. Carbon dating of ancient seeds found among the footprints suggested a time long before it was thought possible. More testing of more layers confirmed the footprints were children walking by an ancient lake almost 10,000 years before we thought humans had arrived in North America. Radiocarbon dating with a very high degree of certainty. And we were astounded at just how old they turned out to be. In Africa, skulls of Homo sapiens date earlier than 100,000 years ago. From there, great migrations began, first through the Middle East to South Asia, and later to Australia and to Europe, 40 to 50,000 years ago. More recently, humans crossed over what was then a land bridge that existed between Siberia and North America. It was believed they came only after the glaciers of the last ice age had begun to recede around 13,000 years ago. The new footprint suggests humans came before the ice blocked migration and came to the southwestern U.S. up to 23,000 years ago. This discovery is pretty, pretty staggering because it says people were actually here before those routes closed up. It's believed the early humans in North America would have coexisted with mastodons and other primitive species. They may well have been the forebears of the indigenous people in the Americas. And the study suggests an early society existed here for at least 2,000 years. You can just kind of picture the kids. It's like, you know, oh, let's, let's go down, play by the lake. Uh, or their parents say, go get some water. You know, it's just like step, 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 step. These little glimpses of, of activity and interaction over time are just, just fascinating to me. Scientists say future research should focus on even older, undisturbed surfaces, where there may be earlier evidence of humans we didn't realize were already here. Eric Sorensen, Global News, Toronto.